the United States has had a military presence in the Philippines ever since, um, was it, would it be like early 1900s? Um, Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt fought a war, uh, for the Philippines and we killed a lot of people in the Philippines and, um, we colonized the Philippines and the Philippines was pretty much our only colony, um, in Asia until World War II and, um, after World War II, what we did is we had an agreement with the Japanese that we would protect them and we have a military base in Japan now because of World War II. Um, we have a military base in, um, in, in, in Korea, uh, in the, on the DMZ, the, the, there's a demilitarized zone. Uh, in, well, it's right. Our, we have a military presence on the border of North Korea in South Korea because of the Korean war, which was after World War II. But after World War II, we have a, um, a military presence in Japan. Um, but, um, what is our most important military presence, uh, in all of Asia, the Philippines. And are we moving our troops out of the Philippines now? Because Donald Trump, um, pissed off Duterte by saying that he wouldn't allow this guy who murdered a bunch of people in their drug war in the Philippines is allowed in the United States. Um, um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the situation right now. And, um, now we're, we're getting kicked out of the Philippines, which is our mo probably most strategic location in, in the entire, um, in Asia. So, um, our actual most strategic location for our military is probably, um, Iraq. Wait, we're getting kicked out of Iraq also. All right. So we're getting kicked out of Iraq, <laughs> Afghanistan. We're pretty much getting kicked out of there, but that's not as strategic, but it is a, a, that strategic, um, and Donald Trump has been removing our troops from Afghanistan. Um, even though I've explained to him how, how important Afghanistan is from a, from a um, United States economy perspective. Because what you have to understand is we have piles of money. The Eurozone has a pile of money. Um, the, the Asian, or the China specifically has a pile of money. But they also have a lot of other currencies that are part of their money, that are extensions of their money, basically. And then, and then you have the, the Middle East that has a, has a pile of money. And then you have Africans. Um, but, but really, um, when it comes down to like real battles um, for resources, um, you, have, you have Asia that has a pile of money. And then you have um, the Americas that has a pile of money. And so um, when you think about um, what, like, what, what real economics is, it's like... What happens to your pile of money? Because like, think about what happened in, in Africa when um, there, there's like a lot of people's currency is worth nothing. Like, the, like there, there are countries like, was it Somalia where like it costs like a ton of cash for a very basic thing because they have like, cause their, their, their money doesn't have real value and money has real value by protecting that pile of money. Um, so that you're not all like, so that someone else doesn't have all your cash and you have none of theirs. You have to have everyone's cash, but all right. So all I'm saying is, um, Afghanistan's important for that pile of money, but it's also important for national security because we need opiates to, if we, if we're ever going to fight a war and, um, we've already had enough soldiers die in Afghanistan. All right. So, um, if, if, if there's anywhere that we don't need troops because because like you're you're like you're you're being strategic about not having troops it would be europe odd enough we have tons of troops in europe costs a ton of money so the fact that so so donald trump is pulling troops out of africa he's he's gonna have to we're gonna have to pull our troops out of iraq we're gonna have to so but china has burundi china's gonna have troops there i guess we'll leave troops in kuwait right but all I'm saying is, um, like, so, so Donald Trump is pulling troops out of the Philippines, but Japan has not forced us to pull our troops out. Fortunately, I'm sure that's a, a that's a pretty expensive base. Um, 
Hawaii, <laughs> they, they're, they're, they're stuck with us because they're a state because we, knew, we, knew, we know how mandatory Hawaii is from a national security perspective because you can kick us out of the Philippines and it's like, well, from a national security perspective, we're okay, but it's nice to have our military there protecting our ships. And that's why I'm saying like one of the reasons that imaginary World War III happened is because I suddenly realized Donald Trump is doing a lot of suspicious military activity where he's pulling all our troops out of everywhere. And then that makes me go, okay, why are you pulling our troops out of everywhere? Does ever is everyone like saying we need to go? Because financially, um, our troops are good for business, and also it's nice to have uh, us being able to do a drone drone strike strike against Boko Haram or something like that. If you ever like, if you ever feel like killing some people because you're like these guys are uh, causing some serious problems, there there are too many of them. Um, it's nice to be able to call in American air support. So it's nice that we have troops um, near Nigeria, but also Nigeria is very important from an oil perspective. Um, and that's another reason why you might want to have troops there from a, like World War III breaks out, you have you have people there and uh, because someone might try to go after that oil and we want to be able to defend that oil because no matter what you think about Nigeria, we do have a, have a relationship with them. Um, so, I mean, all I'm saying, okay, Vladimir Putin... He's all Navy, which means he's all offense. But then he has a country that's like the best country ever for defense. But then he's like, he, he, I guess he sells a ton of planes and then he's like all about building up his Navy. I don't know. Um, but I do know from an economics perspective, um, Russia's in trouble. So um, I think that's like what could turn into our biggest concern in the long term. But obviously um, the coronavirus is a, is a big concern. Um, 